You know, what I'd really love to see, what I think would really be a game changer for customers is if um, we were able to come up with a simple, clear set of language that could be used by everyone in the industry in explaining what's going on and how things affect them because I think we suffer forever from a, a range and variance of terms and terminology and I think if we could simplify it, people would just be in a much better space. It'd be excellent if the Australian Energy uh, Regulator could reinstate the optimisation rule which was parked back in about 2005. And the other main takeaway from today's meeting was the commitment by um, Energex and Ergon's replacement Energy Queensland towards reducing prices into the future. That's something that um, was very pleasing to hear. In the course of our research, what we found was that there's a confusing array of jurisdictions that cover tenants um, and their energy supplies. For example, if they're in a, in a unit block that has um, an embedded network, they're not covered or given the same protections that someone in their individual house is. And we think that there needs to be a lot more research done in this area. Look, there are emerging energy systems that can uh, automatically turn on and off pool appliances or dishwashers, washing machines. They haven't really had a lot of uptake and I think they haven't been integrated yet. I'd like to see those sorts of uh, Google systems and other systems coming into the marketplace a lot more and I think things like demand tariffs will help drive their uptake. Well obviously um, ensuring that prices don't go up any further and look we've seen um, at both the state and federal government recently uh, efforts to um, contain those prices as well as obviously um, getting a better understanding of how they might be able to change their behaviour around energy efficiency. Gone are the days that the industry can think it knows what consumers want and we need to now better understand what their thinking is, whether that's in the use of our products and services, whether it's in the use of technology, whether it's in their consumption patterns going forward. And I think for a, a place like Queensland, which is a diversely populated, large geographical area, we need to be at the forefront of, uh, of, of having a more agile sector that can reform.